What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome to a man of the match Luis Suarez video. For those of you who don't know, Luis Suarez is man of the match in packs for the rest of today until midnight. Today being the 22nd of December. By the time you see this video, he's probably only left in packs for about six hours. He of course got this man of the match card for his work in the Club World Championship. He scored a hat-trick in the game that EA have given him this card for. I've managed to score three goals in my first two games with him. The reason why I personally paid so much for the card, because a lot of people think he's overpriced right now, is because, number one, I don't think he's going to get a blue card. However, I could be wrong. Um, if EA add a bench or the second team for the first time this year, or if, it, or if FIFA make either Messi, Ronaldo, or Neymar a midfielder, Suarez might get into team of the year. But as it stands, in my opinion, the front three of the 4-3-3 are going to be Messi, Neymar, and, and Ronaldo. And that's because they are the three Ballon d'Or um, like nominees. So, um, with that in mind and the fact that it's the winter break in Spain, he's not going to play for a while. He's not going to get another card for a while. So, his 94 is going to be huge. Also means his team of the season is going to be crazy high. Because it's probably going to be a 97 or a 98, which is nuts. Um... Today we're going to play a game with this Fanta Suarez. If you guys have had a, you know had the opportunity of using him perhaps through foot draft, let me know how you think about him in the comment section below. Now before we get into the rest of this video guys, I hope you guys are having a happy holidays. If we could drop a thumbs up on this video, that'd be awesome. Try and get this over 7,000 likes. Let me show you guys the team that I'm playing him in. Uh, one of my favourite teams this year in FIFA so far. I used to use um, Neuer, Boateng and whoever else I could to fit the chemistry perfectly in the team. I've recently been using uh, Ramos and Godin and Diego Godin is utterly, utterly phenomenal. Medium high work rate, 6 foot 1, 92 defending, 82, 87 physical with that 73 pace. He is an utter monster. Bravo, Ramos, Marcelo and Dani Alves make up the rest of the defence with Bale, Neymar and Vieira in midfield. Ronaldo, Suarez and Messi up front. A few people question my uh, use of Bale and Neymar in the midfield. I mean, they do get 7 chemistry, which for me is okay. 6 plus is, is good for chemistry. Um, Neymar has played a lot of games in midfield for me. As you can see, they're 107 games, 23 goals, 30 assists, all from the, pretty much the centre of the park. And Gareth Bale, 195 games. 35 goals, 41 assists. A lot of those games coming at right back. At least 50 of them uh, were him played at that right back slot as well. But this is the team we're going to use, guys. I'm going to get into a game. We're going to find out how good this 94 Fanta Suarez really is. Okay, guys, my opponent for today, because he has a guest, is a 4-3-2-1 100 chem team. They've got a French league team, mostly a French team as well, but some very nice players in there. Um, and Tep Benarf of Valbuena. Uh, the inform um, Kubalele, I think that is. Uh, actually, not even French League. He's a French national, but from uh, the Italian League. So we are playing up against a guest today, which is going to make things a little bit more tricky. Usually people that have a guest are either very, very good or very, very bad. We're going to try our best and see if we can get this Fanta Suarez some goals. And he starts off picking up the ball straight away. They've made a defensive error. He's going to get into the box here. He's getting pulled and pushed. He does a stop and turn inside and loses the ball there to Moutinho. Not a great start for Suarez. This is good stuff. Neymar's picked up the loose ball. Neymar with the shot. The save from Costille. Could have been a foul on the edge of the box again. I'll take the corner. Don't mind putting a bit of pressure on these boys, especially with the fact that I have got 10 men. And they seem to be double pressing me quite a lot, which is good for me. And it falls to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo inside the box. Ronaldo with a shot. Ronaldo with the goal. It goes 1-0 at 15 minutes. I have only got 10 men. I don't think I put the highlight in the video because I wasn't really speaking whilst I did it. But I got Danny Alves sent off after just four minutes, which is going to make this game very difficult. But Cristiano Ronaldo slaps that one home, puts us 1-0 up and in a good position to win this game. And Messi surely got the ref. That's surely a foul, ref. It's just surely a foul. They, they, you, can't, you can't just like pull on me like that and, and expect to get away. That's got to be a foul. There we go. We finally get a free kick 21 minutes into the game. Finally get ourselves a free kick. I'm going to give it to Suarez. We'll have a look at his free kick stats. They're amazing. 92 power, 92 free kick accuracy, 94 curve and 89 penalties and he's, he's kind of moved the wall into a good position for me because he's moved the keeper out and Suarez puts that free kick over the bar first proper chance for Suarez there 22 minutes in but it goes over back into Ronaldo Ronaldo drops it back and the uh, the break the counter attack Cristiano Ronaldo is going to go clean through on goal can Ronaldo win the ball he can't but Vieira can and he puts uh, Messi in here goes Lionel Messi 
the flip, the turn, the cut inside. Messi, that is 2-0. And Suarez isn't doing anything yet. But my two wingers have indeed scored Ronaldo and Messi. And these guys are all at sea defensively. They Look at them trying to dive in there. Messi with the stop and turn. Steps inside the last tackle. Hits it past the keeper. Gets lucky to hit the keeper. But it goes in the back of the net. And we're 2-0 up with 10 men since the fourth minute. Suarez is yet to score a goal, but hopefully we can uh, we can change that as the game goes on and get him onto the score sheet. And one of one of the things I find with Suarez is that I actually believe he's a better cam than he is a striker. But uh, I do still want to get him some uh, some striker goals, and this could be his chance now. These guys are just diving all over the place. They have absolutely no idea what they're doing in in the defensive third right here. And go Dean again on Ben Arfa. Messi's get, gonna get done by Kazawa. Quite surprised that's not a free kick there. He's back through Ben Arfa. And they have scored a goal to pull it back. It's a really nice goal. It's really difficult to defend against too, especially with 10 men anyway. Very nice finish from Ben Arfa in under the underside of the crossbar on the stroke of half time. Would have been nice if we could have gone in 2-0 uh, up, but 2-1 is still good enough, especially considering how panicky they are in defence. I tried to just square him up with Ramos, but he done me on the inside and bangs that one home. That's 2-1. This game's turned a little bit interesting all of a sudden. And that, guys, is the stroke of halftime. What I'm going to do at halftime here is I'm going to make a couple of changes in the team anyways. I do want to get that Dani Alves covered. So I'm going to put Gareth Bale down there at right back. And I'm actually going to put Ronaldo in midfield and play no left winger. So I'm going to have Suarez and Messi up front. I'm actually going to move Suarez uh, just over to the left-hand side a little bit just to make sure we can uh, we can cover that space there that's going to be there. Also, I want to show you guys Luis Suarez's in-game stats. I don't know if any of you guys have seen him, but there you go. There they are. 86 aggression is nice. 94 position, vision, acceleration, agility, so high. Reaction, stamina, and strength are incredibly high. Uh, his in-game stats for technical skill attributes are unreal there. Unbelievable. Then, of course, his uh, physical is uh, as as always is. You can obviously got these uh, get these stats on websites, but uh, if you wanted to see them actual in-game stats, there they were for you guys. Um, if if you struggle to see that, just just pause the video, hit the hit the video on pause, and uh, you'll be able to see them no problem. So we've got a second half to uh, to deal with here. We've got ten men. However, now that I'm two one up, I've got my defense back in order. And uh, it's my offense that we're a little bit slow on. So hopefully we can uh, use that to try and uh, generate a few counter-attacks mainly. Um, it's kind of what I'm looking for. But that's not going to happen if I do things like that. Sergio Ramos with a fantastic tackle there. 49 minutes in. 2-1 up. Let's see if we can get a third goal. Oh, no. Neymar. That is not good. Who's that back there? That's Godin. Nice from Godin. Neymar's giving it away for a second time. They could actually have the counter on here. Godin's lost out. Oh, Mukanjo's beat him, and that's another goal. And I absolutely gifted him that goal. I might as well have only had three defenders back there. There, slid in twice, missed out twice. It's going to be two-two now. It's two-nil up and cruising. These guys were literally in panic stations. Everything they were doing was uh, absolute mess. Sliding in, trying to get fouls, trying to get sent off. Uh, they got one goal back before half time and it just changed the shape of this game. And now all the hard work we did in the first half has been undone by two bits of really poor defending from me. Um, basically both sides of half time. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, get back into this game now and get ourselves back in the lead. Just got to be a little bit careful when I'm attacking that I don't bring too many players forward. Because I'm against two people here, it's very easy for them to, uh, you know, to, to break my offence down. It's a really poor ball into Messi. I think uh, Ronaldo, sorry, it should be a good ball in there. But for some reason, the game decided they didn't want to give me that pass properly. But we're starting to create a few more chances again. Since uh, since they've gone... Has Ronaldo got that? Ronaldo, that's a lovely goal. Like I said, since they came back to 2-2, I feel like I've been dominating the game again. Cristiano Ronaldo is there. Lovely work down the right-hand side again through the midfield. Ronaldo gets in. Neymar slots him in. Look at that. Ren gets played in. There he is in the middle of the box. Ronaldo takes a touch on the ball. The slide tackle comes in, but it, you can't hit him every time. And Ronaldo pops out one in the back of the net. And unfortunately, Suarez is still yet to really have a proper chance on the ball. And this is one of those things where, for me, Suarez is much better as a cam just because he gets to dictate the game more. You really get to see his shooting and his passing. And it, it, I don't know, he just kind of gets involved a hell of a lot more for me. Hopefully, through this game, we're actually going to be able to uh, get him a goal and get him in. And here he is on the ball. No, I've lost it straight away. And you can you can ping those up to, to me all day. I'll, I'll, I'll take easy chances like that. Here's Messi into Suarez. Suarez drops deep. Suarez with a shot. That has gone just wide. And that is his first real chance of the game. 
free kick uh, in the first half that went just over the bar. A shot from deep in the second half that's gone just wide of the post, I do believe. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's starting to finally get into the game, get a few chances. You can see here he's uh, won the header there for Messi. Messi with a fake shot is a really good tackle. Although, once again, I feel like these guys have just lost the plot. Every time they go uh, one goal or two goals down, absolutely lost the plot. Here is Suarez. That's another great tackle. Or is it? Suarez steals in. Luis Suarez. That's a beautiful goal. And he finally gets his goal for the club. Really poor defending from my opponents here. And I think that is them done as well. They decided to quit at 4-2 down. An absolute goal fest of a game. Really difficult game for me getting Danny Alves sent off after half time. Well, after four minutes. I went 2-0 up, pulled it back to 2-2 for my opponents. Luis Suarez gets his name on the score sheet, and that is that for my opponents. I don't think we're going to get to see a replay, but it was really, really poor defending from my opponents that allowed me the opportunity in. And you didn't really get to see much of Suarez. There are literally just three shots from him. Um, hopefully, you guys get the opportunity to use him. Like I said, whether it's in the draft or if you manage to actually get him... Um, in a pack, fortunately, or, or if you just, you know, manage to buy him, if you've got the coins lying about to be able to pick him up. Let me know how you guys enjoy him. For me, he's one of my favourite players in the game. Uh, his goal isn't even in um, the highlights because they rage quit. But yeah, for me, he's one of my favourite players this year. And as you can see there, the match facts were pretty awesome. Let me just go and show you the... Uh, uh, the uh, the red card, just to show you that there was a red card, there you go, after four minutes, Danny Alves sent off, uh, I then scored with Ronaldo and Messi, they then scored with Ben Arthur and Mukanjo, I then scored with Ronaldo and Suarez to tie the game up, and that is where they rage quit, so this is going to be the end of the video today guys, that is a game with the Fanta Suarez, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, if you did be sure to leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but for now guys, I'm out, peace!